neutrons ha have been used previously to um, to, to investigate um, the HIV virus. Yes. Um, can, can you talk a, a bit about that? Uh, you know, what what sort of um, information about the virus was gleaned using neutrons? Well, again, uh, neutrons were very important to look at the uh, structure of um, uh, of drug. Uh, molecules uh, with um, inhibitors of the, the viruses what was really uh, the, the interaction of the drug uh, with the protein, the, 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 the position of uh, protons uh, and it was the, the important part. Are you hopeful that sort of similar studies involving drugs um, against COVID-19 could be done at ILL in the future? But definitely. Uh, I mean, the, that would be an ideal facility to do that because we we can uh, get a very uh, good crystal uh, structures in, in structures of drugs interacting uh, with, with crystals with with our instruments and and that sort of research who who would be involved in that would that be a a real sort of international effort involving academics at universities drug companies people at ILL usually it is so this is the way we usually work with the scientists at the ILL provides the expertise for running the experiment uh, analyzing the data uh, but then there, there are always collaborations with academia to provide the, the system. And um, in cases like this, there would be collaborations with uh, drug companies who uh, provide the drug. That's the normal uh, way of working. So, so in Grenoble, uh, where ILL is, you also have the European Synchrotron Radiation Facility, as well as the uh, European Molecular Biology Lab. Um, I'm guessing that that ILL will be working uh, in concert with those facilities to uh, to do some of this work. Is that right? Uh, yes, absolutely. We have partnerships in place on the campus, so uh, with, between all facilities. And uh, actually, you forgot to mention on campus, we have also the IBS, the uh, Institut de Biologie Structurale, um, that is uh, well, a structural biology institute uh, where there are groups specialized in uh, virus research. Uh, well-known groups specialized, and we interact strongly with them to obtain uh, protein, the protein that we will be using in neutron experiments. In particular, the spike protein, which is um, uh, you saw in the typical image of the coronavirus. So you have these red parts that uh, come out mm -hmm. so for the spike protein. And we are going to uh, look uh, at the interaction of this protein uh, with membranes, with receptors into membranes. And, and given your experience um, with HIV, are, are you hopeful that, um, that there's going to be lots of very useful information um, produced using neutrons um, with regards to the SARS coronavirus? Uh, I think if there is uh, a good effort with the user community to provide uh, the um, to provide proteins and um, eventually drugs and, uh, and systems to study, we yes we should be able to be in the same position as for HIV to to, to give useful information. People uh, here, the facility is uh, very interested in pursuing uh, research in, the, in this sense, but of course uh, we need the support of uh, virology laboratories. And I think it is um, very likely that, that we will um, uh, create uh, strong collaborations. Uh, 